Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for getting me past the 2,000 subscribers mark. As mentioned in the last uh, video, I was just under 2,000. As of recording this, which is the uh, 13th of July 2022, I'm up to 2,080, so that's uh, great. Thanks very, very much for that. Now, as I mentioned in the last uh, video as well, um, I'm still awaiting the car, oh, the uh, new MG, delayed now till September. I've also ordered uh, an electric bike. I got an email from them saying that's been delayed two weeks. Should have been here. It should have been posted on the seventh. It's now going to be the twentieth. Um, but they'll offer me a thirty pound um, consolation fee for that. So. Um, yeah, I've said, yeah, go on, I'll wait another two weeks for it and give me 30 quid back. So more on that coming up in future reviews. But I thought I'd do this one on these two things behind me. While I'm sat here, transportless, and, and I've got my kit car, as you know, but I uh, have no main car. As I say, I thought I might as well clear the backyard. As you've seen on probably some of my other videos, the one I did on the CCTV cameras, I've had a trailer full of rubbish. Stuff left over from when I built the shed. Stuff left over from when I did the bathroom. All sorts. It's been there in my back garden, backyard, for four years, probably five years now. It's a shed my dad and me built. Uh, uh, a trailer my dad and me built rusting away full of stuff so i've managed to get all that down to the tip two doors helped me do that and i've sold that and i've got a clear backyard now so i thought i might as well make it a bit more presentable and tidy uh, i've got new neighbors in we've renewed the whole uh, fence between us and it was a shame to leave the backyard looking as scruffy as it was so it's flagged with flagstones and when i first had them fitted probably 15 years ago I've never sealed them. I should have sealed them from new, and I never have. And as you know, if you don't seal flagstones or a block paving or whatever, you do get like a mould and mildew sort of growth growing on it quite quite quick. Pressure wash it off. It doesn't always all come don't all come off, uh, but it looks pretty presentable and lovely and back to like the pale yellow colour again. And then a couple of weeks, couple of months later, it's all going pretty black again. So although this time I'll get some stuff, some chemical to properly clean it, get all this mildew off and the uh, fence preservative that I'd, I'd spilt on it when I wasn't careful enough and uh, the odd drop of paint and things like that and then properly seal it with a coat or two of proper sealant to stop uh, to keep it cleaner for longer between uh, power washes. So I did my research as always. I read quite a few reviews. I went on Amazon, I went on eBay, I went on Screwfix, and I looked at some reviews. And as always, they are, they are conflicting. And these are the two products I bought. First of all, this Zep driveway concrete and masonry cleaner. And once you've cleaned it with that, this stuff. No nonsense stuff. I've bought loads of no nonsense stuff from uh, Screwfix paints and stuff like that, and it's been really, really good. As good, sometimes better than the, the, the brand names. And this is the sealer. It's a water-based uh, driveway sealer, paving slabs or whatever sealer. So this is a review on them. Now, first of all, I'll show you on Screwfix the ones I got. Let's have a look. So I just typed in patio cleaner, and these are the ones I got. I got that's the sealant, the no nonsense uh, path sealant, sixteen ninety nine for five liters, and this one here, Zep driveway cleaner. It was getting as as many sort of stars as the brand names Jays and Swarfiga. You can see they're all sort of like four star, three and a half, four stars, and uh, the same on that. So. In detail, the driveway cleaner that gives you what the chemical, what what it is in there. There was uh, question and answers and reviews. Now, they annoy me sometimes. Reviews. 
I know I'm doing a review now and you can make your mind up after this, after seeing it, but uh, when you read them, they go from absolutely fantastic to absolutely rubbish. The good ones, used to clean some ancient plasmics, blah, 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 left it, really happy with the result, would recommend, couple of treatments, pathway was cleaned. Um, cleaned up really well, the oil patches and two other applications removing the oil stains completely. And I know oils like to get off. Pressure washed it with my small pressure washer. Did the job so clearly. Oil which had dropped from my car and growths that accumulate over time. It cleared them all. So I thought, great. Then I went into the uh, ratings. Low to high. Total opposite end of the spectrum. Bad. Did absolutely nothing. Put it on. Absolutely nothing. This guy's used sodium hypochlorite in the past. He's now going back to soap, sodium hypochlorite because it hypochlorite because it did nothing. Uh, this product is pants. It looks like the, my jet wash did all the work. You get what you pay for. One star, useless. Big capital shouting here. Uppercase. Don't waste your money. Bought last week. Hopeless. Tried on the panels. So that's the cleaner. Now the sealant. So yeah, the cleaner was um, 11.49. So I didn't know what to believe. and uh, But it's not the end of the world, £11.50. So I uh, thought I'd, I'd try it. Now the sealant, which you do after you've obviously cleaned the drive, uh, four stars, it's getting view all the reviews. Again, we go from... Everyone said how good it was. It's a great product at a great price. You used on porcelain patio hotels. Went on easily. I really cannot fault this product. I have new block builder. And he said, put on his heel. Blah, 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 blah. New block paving installed. Professional builder. He recommended it. Was ready right away. Purchased after reading reviews. Goes on easy. Then a roller to spread. Looks great. Not, not discoloured stones. Blah, 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 blah. Then you go on to the low to high. And it's one star. I put it on in April. It's now only May and it's peeling off. I'm so disappointed. Waste of money on two bottles of this. There's nothing after preparing. It's a good seal. It doesn't seem things. Blah, blah, blah. So, again, what do you do? Is it good? Is it bad? So, I, I, I bought it. So, uh, what to believe? Conflicting views from absolute rubbish to uh, really good for both of them. So, uh, let's see now how I went on with them and uh, just what I thought and show you them actually uh, in action. So, here's the patio before power washing. I've just wet it, uh, just with a hose pipe to uh, show it a bit more clearly. You can see there's plenty of uh, black sort of uh, mildew black spots whatever and plenty of splashes of creosote I just wasn't good enough wasn't uh, careful enough when I painted the fence panels for years and years right here where I'm showing you has been an old trailer full of rubbish and uh, it's been one of them things that's it's just ended up getting fuller and fuller with rubbish bits of uh, paint bits of bird poo and stuff like that so uh that trailer has now gone, hence me cleaning all this. But you can see the the blackness there of the mildew that builds up when there's been no protective coating on top of the flags for, for so long. That's where a bucket has been placed next to the doorstep for years. That's why that looks a bit clearer. So I forgot to uh, actually video the bit of me washing it. So I've just inserted this from the other video that I did on the Lidl's power washer. Um, check that out in my other videos, it goes into great detail on uh, various bits for that. But uh, as you can see, that was with the, the sort of that, the flat blade, the flat end. Now this is the rotary one, this spins round in a rotary action at uh, God knows how many revs per minute. And it's much, much more effective as you can see for cleaning patios. It gets it off a lot quicker than the normal... Uh, the normal adjustable wand so i went around all the flags like that first all over the the, the creosote the wood stain and everything and it gets the bulk of it off as you can see it was in a worse state when i cleaned it here um, last year or year before 
And then I went over it one final stage with this, which is a patio um, attachment. These are really, really good. Not quite as powerful in small areas as that swirly wand I've just used, the Turbo Lance. But the good thing about these is, as you can see, they, com they confine all the water. You don't get gallons and gallons of water running into your, your next door neighbour or whatever. And uh, it keeps the water much more contained. And they spin round. I go into full detail in my other video on how these work. They're at an angle and there's like a, a blade, like a like a hover mower really, which lifts it off so you don't get as much weight on it as you're pushing it. And they are, as you can see, very, very effective. You can see there where I'm doing it. And it is pretty clean, uh, quick and clean. So that's what I did first before the treatment. So this is the day after power washing before any uh, treatments or cleaners have been applied. As you can see, it's thoroughly dried out, including all all the joints, but with uh, plenty of uh, mildew spots there. And well, like I said, they, they don't actually look too bad to the naked eye. This is like the path up the side of the shed where I've got quite a few dribs of uh, preservative on. There are some quite heavy ones. Uh, they're probably the heaviest of all, the whole garden. So, uh, let's see how we go on with uh, applying the treatment. So I'm just using a standard garden sprayer to uh, apply the cleaner. Uh, it's at its highest concentration on the bottle for heavy stains, it says, which is a, a 10 to 1 mix. I've just got a litre in there at the moment. That's the stain, uh, photograph of the stain. Uh, wood preservative, it's proper good stuff. Um, rod seal preservative that I should have protected it with a, a protection sheet, a dust sheet or something, but uh, I was too lazy to. I thought it'd come off quite easy after and it, as you can see, it proves not to. So uh, that's the one we're gonna start on. And like I said, this is at its highest concentration. So we're just spraying on, uh, it's uh, hot water I've used, and it's a 10 to 1 solution, one of product, 10 of water, which is the strongest recommended mix, other than using it neat. And so I'm just trying that out first, putting plenty on, it says uh, apply, wait 10 minutes, and then uh, scrub it off. So. We'll give it 10 minutes to soak in now. Like I, say, I did I did try it as well with neat later on, but still to no avail. But uh, we'll come back in 10 minutes and get it scrubbed off. Okay, so 10 minutes later, here we are scrubbing away with a, a stiff bristled brush. And uh, I'm putting a fair bit of welly on there. Big hunk of fibers or something off the brush or something there but it's getting a bit dry now so uh, spray a bit more stuff on it but there's plenty on there and it's in a shaded bit i recommend doing this on a shady day because if it's really really hot it, it tends to evaporate too quick i tried it on a, a hot day and uh, i had to put uh, quite a lot on it was uh supping it in very very quickly it's better on a, on a cooler shady day so again thoroughly scrubbing on top of the uh, the wood stain on the thing but uh, yeah i'm afraid to to no avail not not this is the stage i got not impressed with it so i wasn't impressed on how it lifted uh, wood fence uh, stuff creosote fence preservative fence stain whatever you want to call it so let's try it on these black spots, these black mildew spots. And again, I'm pressing really hard here. I've got plenty of the stuff on. I've given it like two sort of coats. It's foaming up and I'm ramming them stiff bristles right into it. And I've let it soak in. Again, hot, hot water with the uh, highest ratio constituent for so-called heavy stains and uh, as you can see it's it's just doing nothing it's uh, absolute rubbish 
So it's very quick, this bit, but this is it before any cleaner. If you look at that stain there, and this is it after one application of the, the cleaner. And as you can see, it's uh, it just looks exactly the same. And here it is again after one more uh, coat of the cleaner, second and final application. As you can see, no difference once again. So as you saw there, the cleaner, as you can see, I've still got loads left. And I did it in the recommended um, concentrations. You mix, let's have a look, just to... Uh, for light soils you mix 250 milliliters with five liters of preferably hot water heavy soils mix 500 mil with five liters so for heavy soiling which it was it's a 10 to 1 mix with hot water now i used hot water and uh, you know very hot water and it says use neat for oil stains I also used it neat for the wood preservative that you saw. Um, didn't get much. I didn't film every single bit. I forgot to turn the camera on for, for certain parts now. But after sort of like rubbing it in, it's uh, from the the pressure washer and, and, and even the roller. Just uh, tried. I tried some on them spots, neat, and and scrubbed it with the hard bristle brush, and it just didn't bring it off. It, it brought a tiny bit as you saw off. Um, the, the the big sort of stain, uh, you know, at first I thought, oh, it's bringing a few off. And then, and then it sort of like it stopped it. It won't get any further than the top sort of skimming. I don't know what I'd get that off. Some of this hypochlorite stuff maybe, or even like grinding down if there's some sort of like flappy sort of like sanding, industrial sand you can get to skim down top surface. It'd probably need that, but as you saw, it did not bring it off. And it didn't bring the black spots off, which are like mould, mildew and that. It's like a live um, fungus in there. And it is hard to get off, I, I do know that. But people were saying, yeah, well, it's come off and the oil stains come off. You know, oil can't be any worse than sort of wood preservative uh, fence coat and uh, yeah not impressed whatsoever I could hardly tell any difference the best thing to use was the uh, swirly attachment on the pressure washer um, I've seen in my, my pressure washer video but no not impressed at all with this so I got it as best I could I thought Sod it, I can't be bothered anymore. If it, if it was Kew Gardens or something, <laughs> yeah, I'd, uh, I'd concentrate a bit more. Maybe got a professional in, maybe do this next time or whatever. But for now, I just wanted it looking presentable and to the naked eye it does. So I'd got it looking reasonably good and uh, just with a pressure washer. So then I tried the sealant. So let's see how I went on with the sealant. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the... Uh, tripod set up over there I'm gonna do that corner over there I'll show you in close-up soon with the roller method paint roller method and I'm gonna do this narrow path down the side of the of the mansion with uh, just a standard garden sprayer now I'm gonna leave that very very end slab and half of this one opposite that line there uncoated and then I've got to come back in about six months a year or whatever and do a follow-up to see how, how good this is so I'm spraying this on there yeah. as you can see it's like a white and it says don't let it pool so I'm just going to spray it on down here and then brush it in I can see the roller method being a bit better just rub this in now with the brush
Okay, so as you can see, I've already done that bit. I thought I had the camera turned on, I didn't. So we're just rollering it. It's a masonry roller. This does feel a bit better than using the, uh, the sprayer. You can push it right into the, the flagstone. Whether we will have enough with the five litres, I don't know because it's uh, certainly supping it in. It's amazing how it looks worse on this uh, on camera. I mean, that still looks quite quite stained there, and yet I'm looking at it now, and it looks pretty good with the naked eye. So we're going to give this bit here. So that's the the back door of the house, and going from there up here. I'm just going to use the remaining of the stuff to give that one more coat because that's the highest traffic area from walking up the drive up here and down there to the sheds at the back of the garage at the back of the main shed this bit here doesn't get much traffic at all so if I've any left over I'll carry on up this way so you can see here how much I've got left after one complete application. About a third of it left. Uh, like I say, you put this on neat, you don't water this down. I had about a third left, so I didn't think I was going to be able to do the entire yard again. But as it was, I, as you'll see shortly, I did have enough. Uh, mainly because it's had one coat already, so it doesn't suck as much in. And it was a, a cooler day when I did it. I got up very, very early in the morning to do it and uh yeah it went on so i've got about it's i measured it it's about 17 square yards my uh, backyard and it says it will cover 25 square yards 25 square meters uh, it doesn't say whether that's one coat or two it just says depending on how porous the surface is but uh like i said i measured mine and it's about 17 18 square meters and i got just about two full coats on so uh, I thought that wasn't too bad. So this is it, the final thing. It's had two full coats. Yeah, I managed to make it stretch to the whole thing. I think it was a combination of... Uh, it was much cooler. It actually, uh, during it, started spitting, but... Uh, very soon stopped so it didn't wash any away but i think uh, the combination of it already be having one coat and it being much much cooler and not direct sunlight it did linger around on the top of it a lot better and it's uh, it's managed to go the whole thing right this is the finished patio yard whatever you want to call it you can see this discrepancy is like that circle there. That's where a bucket has been stood for quite a while, so it hasn't got weathered around it. Now, on the camera, as mentioned before, it really picks up the difference, the contrast. It looks pretty bad, but to the naked eye, to my eye now, it, it doesn't look too bad. I can see where the bucket has been, but nothing like as, uh, as prominent as that looks. So this is the finished so yard there's the shed just to show you how effective it is i've got a watering can here and like i say i'm gonna monitor this and maybe make another video in six months 12 months time to uh see how, how these two weather because if you remember this end one here and half of this one up to this line here 
remain untreated. You can just see it's a bit darker from there onwards. But that from my finger there, right to the rear end, have got no sealant on them whatsoever. So they should weather a lot more than the treated ones. And just to show you that, let's take this water in, can't we? Just simulate some rain. So that's right down to this flag there. And as you can see, the untreated one has really absorbed the water and the treated one has like repelled it and it's not, not soaked in anything like as much so uh, hopefully it should not weather as easily now as my trainers still soaking wet and eventually I'm going to paint all these uh, bottom posts just put this, renewed this fence after quite a while, got two more fence panels to go there and paint them and then uh, should have a reasonably presentable patio. It'll do for me anyway. So uh, as you saw there I think the sealant will be a lot more effective. How long it'll last, I don't know. Uh, one of the guys in the negative reviews said he put it on in April and it started peeling off by May. So I'm going to do a follow-up. Um, hopefully it'll last a bit longer than that and we'll see how it goes on. But as you saw in the demo where I poured the uh, water on from the watering can, you can definitely see the difference between the treated and the untreated and it's had two uh, full coats of that. By the way, the, um, the cleaner stuff, that's what it looks like. It's like a, a purple colour. Looks like methylated spirits, if you remember that. Um, and this one, it's like a just looks like PVA. I managed to get the full two coats, uh, as I showed in the video. I would show it when I was showing you the picture. It was about up to there with the, uh, my finger, what was left after the first coat. I weren't sure it'd do it, but uh, because it had had one coat, it didn't absorb it as much. And, and I picked a, a much cooler time of the day, very, very early in the morning and uh, to do the second coat. And uh, it seemed to go, no, I'll have to, I've still got a tiny, tiny bit left. And I measured, and I've got about 26 uh, square yards. It says it'll do 25, so it's about right. So I've got a tiny little bit left over for any touch-ups or anything else. So, uh, yeah, the um, make your own mind up. Um, like I say, I did not rate the cleaner at all. It seemed to do, like the guys were saying in the negative reviews, absolutely nothing. 1% maybe, tiny bit. Maybe if I kept scrubbing at that just with water to create so it would have come off, I don't know. But uh, very, very, very disappointed with that. This, um, happy with it from brand new. Definitely rolls off like a duck's back, the, the water. Um, but I've no idea how long that will last whether it's better than a solvent based one, uh, one this is a water based one, I don't know so like I say, it'll do me for now um, I just want to sit, sit reading a book or something on those nice sunny days in a reasonably clean yard it doesn't have to be operating theatre clean I'm not that finicky if this stuff starts peeling off or when it's getting ready for renewing, I may investigate and try some of this hyperchlorate stuff to clean it thoroughly or, or even get a professional in or whatever. So I know there'll be those out there looking at this video saying, look at the state of that, those flagstones, all them, still them stains on and he's, he's gone and sealed it and he sealed that in, which is true. But like I say, it does look worse through the camera. Trust me, the me naked eye, and, it, and it'll do for me. But uh, yeah, any professional watching this will be horrified. But uh, yeah, you've probably got access to the proper stuff, a lot dearer, stronger chemicals, and uh, more powerful pressure washes, things like that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, it. Um, disappointed with one, reasonably uh, pleased with the other. So hope this has been of some use, this review. If it has, please give me a thumbs up and also click the little uh, super thanks arrow if you like. It just gives a small £2 donation or whatever for keeping these reviews coming through YouTube. So hopefully I'll be doing the next one 
before not too long the electric bike will be getting posted to me in the next uh, week or so uh, and hopefully they've told me september for the car so it's now middle of july fingers crossed on that so there should be quite a few more reviews uh, coming along so if you do want to subscribe please click the picture of the shed here and i'll see you for the next one thanks for watching this one bye for now